designed in a shed in Devon and now used by even the American Special Forces, it has a 5.9 litre diesel engine. So it will do 90 miles an hour everywhere. And the undersides are designed to deflect explosions away from the people on top. The idea is that this fast, nimble, go-up-anything vehicle will herd me towards this, the Mastiff, which apparently is designed not to look frightening in a war designed to win hearts and minds. Whatever. Uh, and then, waiting to pounce, will be this, which is a Fiat van. It's called the Panther. And even though it's built by the same company that makes the Panda, it costs just shy of half a million pounds. I've got to get one of these for my car. Look at that! That's something you won't be seeing. It'll just be, be a blur. Now, you're probably thinking this is all very jolly, but how are they actually going to bring me down? Strong words? Good gestures? This is Top Gear. They don't mess about. They're going to be using their guns. And they won't be firing blanks either. As a measure of my confidence, the ammunition they're loading is live. Right, active centre diff on gravel. There we go. Right, five miles to the finish, and I needed to build up an early lead. But then the Evo girded its loins. Oh, there's the turbo boost! Live with this! I'm starting to think I might not win this. Now, wait, wait, wait. Right, 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 right. Oh! What I'm doing now is genius. I'm using the Trojan as a shield. And even if they do see me, there's nothing they can do about it. If you come on, the gun is on the other side. What are you doing? You're spoiling it! Eventually, he did put me down, but the car was a wreck. And that, it seemed, was that. Oh, yeah, that's